Hi guys, so today's video, I wanted to do a review on, I ordered these two things, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right, Glossy, Glossier, Glossier, I don't really know, but I got the, what the hell is it called, the Perfecting Skin Tint and the Stretch Concealer, so the reason I got these, um, so one, me personally, like summer's coming and I wanted a foundation um, that was more like, not full coverage but like just would even up my skin and i just i didn't want to have a lot of heavy makeup on in the summer it was kind of what i was going for in this brand um i don't really know much about them but just from like looking at their website it seems like a very like their whole goal is the no makeup makeup look is kind of the vibe that i was getting from them um and i see their products everywhere like i know they did a pop-up in boston um a couple months ago i see them all over tiktok everyone's using their products um so i thought why not just try them out um they seem to have really good reviews i did um a poll on my instagram story and it was like really 50 50 um i think 55 said yes they like the, their products and then 45 percent said that they didn't like their products so that was kind of like i was like oh no when i saw that but um i'm gonna go ahead and just like do my own little review and let you guys know what i personally think um so i got the shades what did i get g in the skin tint i got g10 and then in the stretch concealer i got g11 and they definitely look too dark the concealer actually looks like it'll be fine but the skin tint looks like it's going to be really dark like this might be a fake tan um thing but anyways just a little bit about my skin so obviously i don't have anything on my face right now um i just took a shower so i just did my whole you know, skincare, serum, lotion, eye cream, all that good stuff. Um, and I put primer on. So my skin, I have a couple of breakouts right now. Um, but like, other than that, the breakouts aren't too, too bad. Um, obviously, I'm super fair. So with fair skin comes lots of redness um, and sensitivity. So like if I just touch my skin, like just that little bit, like my cheek's going to turn all red. Um, so I have very, very sensitive skin. Um, and just not an even skin tone so that was really what i was looking for in a product so i'm hoping that i can do that with this so on the bottle it says on both of them it says to use um your fingertips to blend them out on your skin um i don't really want to do that i'll do it with the concealer but i really don't want to do that with this um i just don't i don't really see that coming out very well but I'll do one side I'm just gonna use this um, real techniques brush so I don't even know like what the consistency of this is so we'll just should I shake the bottle I don't know okay so it's very thin and it's very dark Wow I need like three shades lighter Whew. this is not gonna be a cute review huh wow it's like very sheer i didn't get that much maybe let me get a little more i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my face i don't care okay so color is gonna be see like how my cheeks are already all red just from the brush all right is that a lot that's probably a lot for the no makeup <laughs> Okay, so it's got that dewy look, which I normally don't like, um, but I actually did want that. Wow, it's like very sheer, like very sheer. Let's just rub that in. Wow, it's like super sheer. Ooh, I don't think I like that. I feel like I like didn't put anything on. Wow, that's disappointing. This is like kind of expensive. And I like kind of put a lot on too. Mm. let me just try with my fingertips I don't even know how to do this I never use my fingertips this is extremely disappointing I see like a lot of redness still oh no 
now there's like makeup all over my hand i don't like this okay all right i'm gonna try the concealer so that's what it looks like it's like almost has like a lip balm like texture it's like greasy like it feels like grease makeup This seems like this is gonna crease like really bad. Like after like five minutes, it's gonna have a huge, like, I feel like I look greasy. Wow. I mean, I guess it like did cover. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I look really greasy. So this is like really hard because I always wear full coverage foundation just because I hate the redness. I hate it, I hate it. So I'm just gonna show you guys my personal favorites um, that I like to use. So this one I really like. Um, I'll mix this with my moisturizer when I put it on my face and I like make it into my own BB cream. And it like gives you the full coverage along with like that no makeup look and it's like um, and the Lumi so it kind of gives you that like dewy look but it's not like like super wet like this um, this one I love this one is awesome like really awesome and then this is SPF 50 and this other one is SPF 20 so this is really awesome. I kind of feel like this might be my go-to summer, which is weird because this is like legit full coverage. Um, but it's, I'll just show you guys. And yes, I do this really weird, I know. But just go with it. Okay, so like that's really not that much. Some people are like, what? Okay, ready? You guys see the redness? Like, I like this side better. Oh, I don't know, man. Review with no opinion. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's been like 30 minutes that I've had this on, which I know isn't a super long time, but it's enough to like let the makeup settle onto your face, obviously. So I kind of wanted to take back some of the negativity that I said about um, the product. The product absolutely did what it said it was gonna do. Um, you know, it's a sheer, let's see. It's a, it's literally, it's a skin tint. So I, I can't expect it to completely perfect my imperfections, you know, that's asking a lot. And if I want then I should use full, a full coverage foundation and not a skin tint. Um, the concealer, I actually have like a little, I don't know if you can see it, that, I put the concealer over that and it actually covered it up, um, and like hasn't moved and like that's my like upper lips, so, like I <laughs> move my mouth a lot. So I'm surprised that it stayed there, I put it here on my nose and it stayed there. Um, something that I personally struggle with with my under eyes is I have really, really dry under eyes no matter what concealer I put on, it just like after 20 minutes it looks terrible i haven't been able to figure out i've used a bunch of eye creams i've used a bunch of different concealers and i don't know i just can't figure out what's going on with my under eye right now so that's just like a weird personal problem um but the concealer did cling to like the dry parts so this is just kind of a zoomed in look on my eye sorry homegirls eyebrows are buck wild but move past that we're here for the concealer so obviously like it creased a little bit um, I don't know if you can see it here, but it did cling to the dry parts of my under eye, but like I said, I can't be mad at the product. It did exactly what it said it was going to do, um, and to be, hello, to be completely honest, it doesn't look that different from my full coverage. I didn't apply the full coverage. Okay, let's zoom out here. Okay, now we're normal again. Okay, so I didn't apply the full coverage foundation like I normally would. I purposely applied it because I wanted it to be lighter. Um, 
so obviously it's buildable um, but really in comparison the sheer side to the full coverage foundation there's not that big of a difference um, and it does it, it does look like dewy and glowy and that was what I wanted so I think the product definitely did achieve what I wanted it to um, but there's just parts of my skin that I kind of have to accept and get past so I don't want to knock the product because I don't think it was the product I think it was more my skin than the product if that makes sense so I hope that kind of gives you guys a little bit of a clear idea of this foundation the foundation like I said does what it says it's gonna do um, I think it's just definitely targeted to a specific target market and isn't necessarily for everyone um, so that's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, I hope this kind of helped you guys out and gave you a little bit of a better idea about the product because like I said on my Instagram, it seemed like there was really mixed reviews and it was 50-50. So hopefully this kind of helps that out a little bit. Okay, bye guys.